Your Excellency, President Johan Sanaida Rahman, friends, thank you, Excellency, for your warm remarks and generous welcome. I feel the weight of history standing here with you in the truly international city, Geneva. And not just international, but a city with a humanitarian soul. After all, it is home to the Red Cross and headquarters of several international organizations devoted to serving mankind. Friends, India and Switzerland have both been the voices of peace, understanding, and humanitarian values in the world. In the last seven decades, our friendship had consistently seen an upward trajectory. Today, President and I reviewed our multifaceted bilateral ties. We also held detailed discussions with CEOs, friends, the economic links between our two countries are strong and vibrant. Many Swiss companies are household names in India. Ties of collaboration, collaboration in trade, investment, science and technology, and skill development benefit both our societies. India appreciates Switzerland's position on EPTA and affirms readiness to resume discussions early. We are all aware of the strengths of the Swiss economy. But India, too, is undergoing profound transformation. We are today the fastest growing economy in the world. But that alone is not enough. I want the Indian economy to be driven by smart and sustainable cities, robust farm sector, vibrant manufacturing, and dynamic service sector. And its engines to run on world-class network of rail, roads, airports, and digital connectivity. Where a home for everyone and electricity in every home is a reality. And its 500 million plus youth are skilled and ready to meet the global needs of manpower. In this context, President and I agreed to build upon the famous Swiss vocational educational training system suited for India's needs. We all observed the World Environment Day yesterday. In tune with its objectives and India's civilizational ethos, an economically prosperous India will also be friendly to the planet and our environment. Reliance on renewable energy rather than on fossil fuels is our guiding motto. Friends, we see a perfect connect 
between our development needs and speed strengths. I therefore invite the Swiss companies to avail of this great opportunity to be a key partner in India's economic growth. Ultimately, the economic prosperity of 1.25 billion people would also benefit the entire world. Friends, India and Switzerland are share a commitment to reform international institutions in line with current global realities. In this context, I am thankful to the President for Switzerland's understanding and support for India's membership of the Nuclear Suppliers Group. Combating the menace of black money and tax evasion is also our shared priority. We discuss the need for an early and expeditious exchange of information to bring to justice the tax offenders. An early start to negotiations on the agreement on automatic exchange of information would be important in this respect. Friends, strong ties between the people of our two countries are an important base and benchmark of our linkages. Thanks to the Indian film industry, we are very familiar with the enchanting beauty of the Swiss landscapes. But we are also keen to welcome larger number of Swiss visitors to India. For this, we have opened the facility of e-tourist visa for Swiss nationals earlier this year. Friends, there are many success stories of our relationship on that has been making waves in the grand slams of the tennis world is the partnership of our famous Swiss player Martina Hingis with Sonia Mirja and Leander Pace of India. I am confident that our common commitments and values, people-to-people -people links, and a strong and growing economic partnership will take our relations to new heights. Thank you, Excellency, once again for hosting me in Geneva. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks to Switzerland.